Hi, my name is Vanessa Wentworth and I'm a fourth year general engineering student here to explain what general engineering is because it's kind of confusing. Despite the name implies, it's actually for students who know exactly what they're doing or for students who want a very broad understanding of engineering. And so they'll take classes in many different disciplines. So there are two concentrations in general engineering. The general concentration, which as the name implies, means that you take engineering classes in a variety of different engineering disciplines like mechanical engineering, electrical, civil, a little bit of biomedical, and even some computer science. And so you'll have a really nice foundation in many different engineering disciplines so that you can then go forth and apply that to whatever industry you want to work in. The other option that more general engineering students choose to do is called an individualized course of study or an ICS for short. And what this is, is a way to customize your own engineering major here at Cal Poly because there isn't an existing major that fits your interests. So this is for students who have an idea going into college of what they want to do. So for example, Cal Poly doesn't have chemical engineering. So within general engineering, you can create your own chemical engineering major. Likewise, other students have made audio engineering degrees, tissue engineering, or I'm studying product design. In fact, biomedical engineering used to be a subset of general engineering, and so many students chose that path that it became a major of its own. So basically, if you have an idea of what you want to do, but it doesn't exist in a major here, or it doesn't neatly fit into another discipline, general engineering is a good way to create your own major and do that. So an ICS, is an opportunity for you to choose exactly the classes you want to take across all the engineering disciplines within Cal Poly. So for example, I'm studying product design, so I'm choosing a lot of mechanical design classes as well as industrial design classes to create a blended major where I'm studying product design and taking more of an artistic approach to design. So I have had a whole roller coaster of interests over time. Like I said, I'm a fourth year and I've changed my plan for what classes I was going to take over a dozen times while I've been here. As my interests have changed, I've discovered new classes that were interesting to me, or I even studied abroad and I got to count two audio automotive classes in Germany towards my degree, which is a really amazing opportunity to be able to do that and be able to flexibly change your schedule over time so it continuously fits your interests. So that is a really, really strong point in general engineering. It's just the fact that it is so flexible to fit your needs as it changes over time. It's not this one static thing that these are the classes you have to take. It is always going to change with you as your interests change or remain the same. So most of my classes across all the different majors that I take them in are usually 30 to 50 people with labs being half of that. We have lots of hands-on labs here you get to make the parts you design in CAD. To me, that's really important to be able to learn the design principles and then create it in a CAD program. I primarily use SOLIDWORKS and then make it in the machine shop itself. Like this tree behind me, that was an extracurricular thing I just did for fun, but still we have laser cutting here that's available for students that you can use for class projects as well as just for fun. So classes, uh, professors are always very accessible here. Um, we have office hours all the times, and as I mentioned, also small classes, so you can always ask them questions in class. It's a very small, interactive experience, so they're very engaged with students, and I felt very strongly that they personally want you to succeed in every way of life, uh, personally, academically, as well as for networking and future opportunities. I think Cal Poly has done a really excellent job of setting me up for good opportunities. I've been able to do research here on campus and that led into a co-op um, at Abbott Laboratories where I took off two quarters and got to work there for six months. And that's an opportunity that if general engineering wasn't so flexible would have been really difficult to do. Uh, so I got to explore the biomedical field and so now my interests have changed once again so that in my last year I can change my classes again. So it's geared more towards uh, medical device product design. And so that was a really amazing opportunity for me to be able to, to take off time and do that sort of thing. And I found that job at Cal Poly's career fair in the fall. So um, even now I have a, a part-time job at a different company that I found through a connection with a Cal Poly um, alumnus. So. They do a very good job of connecting you with all of those people.
So for those parents who are concerned that general engineering students don't have good career opportunities, think again, it's definitely possible for those students who aren't quite sure what they want and want a um, really broad uh, understanding of engineering, this is a great major for you, as well as for students who know exactly what they want to do. It's an even better opportunity in that regard to get exactly what you want. So thank you.